Brooklyn Independent Television. Our second rehab story takes us to a small private facility in Crown Heights. At the Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation, Health Beats Fred Brown introduces us to some of the most up-to-date approaches to helping senior citizens deal with late-in-life health issues. All right, see you. Hi. How are you? She's going to lunch? Fix her up. Papi, did you have lunch? Comida? <laughs> Look down in the rehab department. There's a, uh, a friendly atmosphere. It's bright. It's, it's large. They have the most modern equipment. The, the physical therapists are, are young and excited and uh, completely engaged. They even have teaching uh, physical therapists and occupational therapy assistants that come here. There's uh, a lot of energy and, and excitement that you feel when you're here that you don't find in other nursing homes. That makes this place unique. Since I've been here, it's a beautiful facility. I enjoy, I look forward every day coming to therapy because y'all make it fun. It's not work, it's fun. I was in another facility before I came in. Staff is more friendly, they take more time with you here. Hello, how are you? I was doing an exercise, like a virtual exercise, for the arm, for the arm strengthening. And one of them was with a soccer. I found out about it from a friend of mine. His mother was in the nursing home here, in the nursing home part of the facility. And I was, after I got my knee done, he suggested it to me, but I didn't know of any of the facilities that were on the list of facilities. Mm -hmm. So I asked him to look at them and to pick one for me. You have a seat, reach back. Because he said the staff in here, and I say the same, the staff in here was excellent to his mother. And they took care of her like she was, you know, one of their own. Oh, I miss her. Doing the right thing, caring for the people that we serve, both internal and external, and having be, being creative and innovative. And as you could see that we would like to be the pioneers and the leaders of technology. Our rehabilitation does not only include physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy, but we also have music therapy. We even have an institute of musicology. And this institute of musicology is extremely unique because what happens is they are able to play digital instruments. And this is not just playing a game. What this is actually, every time they use their right or their left hand in the drum set, for example, it measures the right or the left hand. This is a uh, uh, program which has the most modern equipment you'll find anywhere. The demographic of the people that are here it represents the surrounding community. We have patients from Bedford-Stuy, Crown Heights, Park Slope, um, and a lot of the surrounding areas that are fed through the various hospitals that surround us. DNR is not grandma's nursing home and there isn't a grandma's nursing home in the country any longer. You know, That's really now residents who are that healthy and that functional are in assisted living now. And that's been probably going on for about 10 years. So they've really been re redirected to a different venue. I think that piece has changed dramatically. And it's changed dramatically as far as discharge planning is concerned and really what we're going to require from the community and what we're going to require from the family. Besides the therapy, make them a little comfortable from coming from home. Besides getting their rehab and getting them back out, you know, and we love those recommendations. Look at our wall of thank yous. You know, we, we just love it and you know that and it makes us feel good and today you're good Pleasure. all right thank you everything good I have a, a very first-hand experience exactly. and thank god a very good experience very which is wonderful right. top-notch facility with very caring people very dedicated people uh, obviously these are very tough economic times uh, they're very uncertain times uh, right now with health care medicaid has taken tremendous tremendous cuts and that's just the beginning of it there's going to be a lot more to come and so it's very important, like anything, to get the most you can for your money, even when it's insurance money. Uh, 
and in this case you're getting people that really are putting their heart and soul into this place. And I can say that because I'm not employed by this place. I come here freely, I volunteer, uh, and it is a pleasure. And that's why they won that award. It's really the people that, that make it, nothing, nothing more than that. Reorganizations of the neighborhoods, which were called units previously, but now it was no longer a unit, it was a neighborhood. The resident, the staff, their families participated in naming the neighborhood. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> All right. We are resident center. This organization basically catered to independence and individuality. As we increase our skill sets here in the nursing home and they continue to give us sicker and sicker patients, the nursing home will turn into what a hospital looked like perhaps 15 years ago. Yeah, you want me to do a break dance for you? Yeah. Okay. Da, 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 da. Download this program's podcast on iTunes, keywords Brooklyn Independent Television.